Wyatt Bonfka, um, Louisiana. Boom, which is the same location of um Chifonta, right? The Chifonta site next to um Slidell, Louisiana, right north of New Orleans. You see what I mean? Boom, boom for Kai, so um we come back here like we talked about and my last videos, right, we got the um the path from Aberdeen, Mississippi to Jackson, Mississippi, right, which forms the belt of Orion, right, the belt of Orion, you know what I'm saying, that goes back to the home base, right, remember we talked about all that, right, the um, um, Houston, Texas, right, the hometown, right, which is um, Sears the Dollar Star, right, um, and these three cities, on the belt, of course, being the lands of the three chiefs, right? The three, um, three to the chiefs, you know what I mean? Of the Anitata people, right? These were three, um, resurrected chiefs of to the nation, right? Um, starting with, you know, Jeff Fort, right? Chief Malik, who was born in Aberdeen, Mississippi, right? Aberdeen, Mississippi. Right, founder of the um the Black P Stones, right? Now called the L Reckons. And uh he was the founder of the People Nation. You understand? So this is Chief Musha Latubi, right, of the Ani Tata people. Right, was also born in Mississippi, right, seventeen fifty around this time. Right, Musha Latubi. You understand? Boom, Chief Malik. Right, got right. Chief Musha Latubi. Right, we also got Chief Seti, right, or you know Chief Set, right, founder of the um disciples, right, um of the folk nation, right. Follow our Lord King Set, right, the folks. Uh, we got David Barsdale, right, Chief David, King David, right. One of the kings, all kings, right? Founder of the disciples, right? Born in Sailors, Mississippi. You understand? One of the um, one of the, um, the other chiefs of the land, right? So he is Push Mataha, right? King David is Push Mataha, right? Chief Seti, right? Follow our Lord King Set, right? King Seti, right? Of the disciples, right? The devil disciples and what have you, right? This is Push Mataha. Right, consider um said one of the greatest of all Tata chiefs, right? I need Tata chiefs, right? Born seventeen sixty four. You said I mean also born in um Mississippi, right? Talladega, Mississippi, right? Boom, so we got David Boss there, we got Push Mataha. You understand? Boom. And we also got Larry Hoover, right? King Larry. You know what I mean? Chief Larry or Chief Lion Paul, right? Of the Anitata people. Right? This is A. Puck Shinubi. Right? Born 1740. Right? So these were old chiefs that went to. Um, Washington, D.C. to fight for their lands, right? To um, talk about the um, Unega settlers, right? Um, encroaching on the land, right? And, you know, squatting on the lands and things of this nature, right? So, you know, they all died mysteriously. You know what I mean? Um, coincidentally, um, right during this, 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 this time. So, this is why, you know, they say tormented souls can't rest or they don't rest, right? They, you know, go through the moon, right? The resurrection of the moon, right? And they, they come back right through the womb, you know what I mean? More worse for through the womb doors, right? So that's what we see or that's what we have seen with these these chiefs, you know what I mean? That later became known as gang lords or gang chiefs. 
in the modern time, but you know, that's just how the ancestors move, right? Um, you know, they just got caught in, you know, bad situations and what have you, but you know, that's what we're talking about, right? So we also got the three cities on the fall line, right? The Georgia fall line, which is also Orion's belt, right? Orion's belt, right? We got Augusta, Georgia, which is named after Augustus, right? The first um, emperor of Rome, right? The first emperor of Rome. Um, we got Macon, Georgia, right? Which is... um. Mason, Georgia, right? Macon is Mason. You understand? We got Bibb County, we got Richmond County, Augusta, we got Muskogee County, right? We got Columbus, Georgia, right? So these three cities lead back to the capital. You see what I mean? They lead back to the um the Adni Tata capital, right? They lead back to Bonfa Kai, my G, you understand? More worshipful, right? And I talked about this as well, right? The, you know, Orion's belt. So if we picture this as the constellation Orion, right? This would be Candace Major, right? This would be, you know, Sirius the Dollar Star. This would be Bonfa Kai, right? Bonfa Kai, New Orleans area, right? And all of this was the land of the same people, right? We're going to talk about that as well, right? All of this was the land of the same people, right? From Bonfa Kai to Columbus, Georgia, right? So, to um, Augusta, Georgia, you know what I mean? So, this is what we're talking about, right? We got Augusta, you know, uh, Macon, Columbus. We got Aberdeen, Sailors, and Jackson, Mississippi, right? We got Houston, Texas. We got New Orleans, Louisiana, you know what I mean? So, that's what we're talking about. Here's another look at it, right? This is the foul line, right? And the foul line is very important in terms of, um, you know, military, you know, strategy and what have you, um, building strategy because you can generate a lot of energy, right? There's a lot of rivers in Georgia, right, that, ask, that produce waterfalls over the foul line, right? They produce waterfalls and you can create water mills, right? Steam mills and what have you. Um, generating power from, you know, the, this fall line, right? So that's why, you know, they made a, um, the trespassers, they made an effort to consolidate these three cities. That's why these are the three consolidated cities of Georgia, right? We got Richmond County, Bibb County, and Muskogee County, right? Because um, these are the three fall line cities, right? Or the three stars of Orion's built, you know what I mean? And all of this used to be underwater, right, at one point in time. So that's why the, this land is more fertile and more um, swampy, you see what I mean, than, um, than above the fall line, right, where we got the um, mountains and things, right, going up into the um, Appalachian Mountains and things, right, the lower Appalachian Mountains and what have you. So this is what we're talking about, right? So... Florida um, was named by Juan Ponce de Leon, right? Um, to, or Tafonta was renamed. This is the first time Tafonta was renamed, right? Um, a lot of us probably learned about him in school, right? There's refresh our memory family, you know what I mean? More worse for, um, for those that stayed awake, you know what I mean? For those that, you know, didn't stay awake, you know, try to stay away for this one, right? Because, you know, this is um the nitty gritty family, you know what I mean? More worshipful. Juan Ponte de Leon, right, was the Spanish explorer that named that renamed Chafonda. Right. Chafonda was the name of the land when he got here. You said I mean it was Chafonda, right? The land of the Chafonda trees, right? And the Chafonda um uh fruit. Right, um, and we're gonna talk about that, but um, he called it um, Florida, right? And he was, um, you know, a Spanish explorer and what have you, right? So they were actually the first Europeans on the land, right? Not the English or the French, right? It was the Spanish, you know what I mean? So he came to um, 
America 1513, right? That's where he made his travels, right? Right, you got Puerto Rico, right? He was going from Puerto Rico to um to Florida, right? And Florida, once again, was not just the state of Florida today. Florida was, you know, went all the way up to Virginia and to Louisiana and things, right? So that was named by um, Ponce de Leon, right? So that's where we get Florida, right? The land of flowers, right? It's, it's Spanish for uh, flowers, right? The land of um, that's full of flowers, you know what I mean? Florida. Right, and it's a feminine name because you know in Spanish, right? You got the A and the O, right, at the end. So got the A at the end, so that's a that's feminine. You know what I mean? So that's what we get floral, right? Floral meaning flowers, right? So floral and Florida, right? That's the same derivative of word. You said I mean, but the original name of the land family was Chifonda. You know what I mean? More words for right, Chifonda is a Anichata word, right? It's a Muscogee word, because Chata is a um, Muscogee tongue, right? It's an Anikusa tongue, right? Muscogee is a confederacy, right? We're going to talk about that. But the Chinquapin is the Chifonda. You understand? So it was used as a chestnut used by Native Americans to relieve headaches and fevers, right? Derived from the word Hachifati, right? Chifonda, Hachifati, right? Chifonda. You see, the land of the font, the, right? Or that font, right? That G font, you know what I mean? My words for So the Tafont is the oak tree, right? What they call the Quercus um, Muhlenbergi, right? The Quercus Muhlenbergi. You see what I mean? That's just a fancy way of saying a oak tree family. You know what I mean? The um, white oak um, tree. You said I mean, or the different, you know, species of oak trees. You said I mean the Quercus Muhlenbergi, right? But we're just talking about the oak tree family. So, Tafonda was the land of the oak trees. You know what I mean, the southern oak trees, right? What we call the Tafonda trees. You understand, like what the old folks used to say, right? The Tafonda trees, right? Which is the land of the Tafonda. Right, what we now call the acorn family. Right, what we now call the acorn or the fruit of the oak tree. You know what I mean? This is the Chifonta fruit. You understand? So, this was the land before the European got here, right? It was the land of the acorns and the acorn trees or the, or the oak trees, right? Going back to egg corns, you know what I mean? The um the term egg corns, right, which is derived from acorn, right? This is a um you know a, a, a speech based word, right? Is um is it refers to the alteration of a phrase through the mishearing or reinterpretation of one or more of its elements creating a new phrase having different meaning than the original, but it still makes sense. You know what I mean? When used in the same context, right? So this is um like a paradox in speech, right? Egg corn, right? Because they say, you know, the acorn looks like an egg and it looks like, you know, corn, a corn kernel, right? So they call it egg corn, but we call it the Tafonta family. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, a couple of examples, right? Like Alzheimer's, right? That's the official, the official name for the disease, but you know, colored people, right? Native folk, we say all timers or old timers. You said, I mean, we we rarely say Alzheimer's, right? We say all timers and old timers, right? Um, you know, maiden name, right? For maiden name, you said, I mean, these are different, you know, egg corn examples, right? So the land of the Tafonta was also the Tafonta people, right? The land of the Tafonta people, right? The people were also called Tafonta. You understand? So these are um, immature acorns, right? These are young acorns, right? When they're first, um, when they're first born, you see what I mean? They're green in color. You see what I mean? We see the black acorns. These are the more mature acorns. Right, the black ones, right? So they, they go from, in color, they go from green to black, right? Boom, so when they mature, they start, or when they ripen, they start to turn brown 
and red is in color. You see what I mean? Boom, just like the color of the people. You understand? That's the font the fruit. Right, land of the to font the people. Right here we see different shades of black, brown. Right, so this is how we know. Right, when you know the culture, right, and when you're from the culture, right, this is how we know that the native people and the real natives of the people do not look like the natives that we see on these reservations today. Right, because they do not resemble the Chafonta fruit from the Chafonta tree family in the land of Chafonta. You know what I mean? More worshipful. You understand?